At 6 feet 4 inches and 315 pounds, our next player keeps offensive linemen quaking in their cleats. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, wake up, wake up! The moment I met him, he was like the biggest human being I've ever, ever seen. He's absolutely huge, but he's so humble. At Temple, I looked up to him. Let's go! He knew that he was going to do a lot of good things in the NFL. Under pressure, sacked by Muhammad Wilkerson. He's a great player, and when we went out to New York to play him this year, he, you know, he dominated. Good job there by Muhammad Wilkerson. Was able to get a couple sacks on Peyton and uh, alter the game for sure. Third and 15. Ten-yard loss there, and a type of play the Jets need. Whenever he's out there on that field, the game changes drastically. You know, uh, you got to make sure you account for him because at any given moment he can change the game. Roethlisberger, a little wide receiver screen, caught and fumbling the football's Brown. It's picked up by the Jets. Antonio Brown. What a play by Mohamed Wilkerson. He comes back to make the tackle, strips Antonio Brown and pops the ball loose. Just talking about someone who can physically just take over, you know, a game or, you know, his particular area. It's hard to run the ball at him. Running left, nowhere to go. Tackle for loss by Mohamed Wilkerson. And at the same time in the pass game, you know, they put him in spots to create one-on-ones, and he's a tough guy to block. He really is. And that's a big loss. You got those guys that are so big, but then they can get out there and play defensive end. They can go inside and play D tackle. You know, that's hard on tight ends when you got a 300 pound man and they can come out there and move like a defensive end. <laughs> He's elite. He's one of those guys that, you know, is bigger and stronger and his arms are longer and, you know, he's hard to get your hands on and, and hard, to, uh, hard to win against. It takes two of y'all to block me. You're supposed to be the best. Come on, let's go. We got one you one on one. He's supposed to be the best, so sometimes you've got to put two people on him. You're supposed to be one of the best players in the league. That's the softest effort I've ever seen in my I life. I know, I know. You know why? Because they ain't running the ball over here because you can't block. <laughs> I told him, that's what I said, you, you're the best. You're not, you're not supposed to get blocked by one guy. Just like J.J. Watt, the guy can play outside and inside. Um, first step quickness is killer, man. Um, the guy sees things before the ball is snapped, and he's in the backfield before you know it. I met Mo uh, 08 at Temple, and he was just a freak of nature then, and he's still a freak of nature now, you know. Uh, the things he done on the field is tremendous. That's a man right there. He won the win. He won the win. This is the second straight year that Muhammad Wilkerson was voted on to the top 100 list. Yet after four successful seasons, he is still looking for his first Pro Bowl selection. I think he should have made it, you know, uh, one of the four years, but um, he's going to make the Pro Bowl, you know, he's going to go on the most likely be a Hall of Famer. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Selected in the first round of the 2011 draft, Wilkerson has developed into one of the most exciting players to watch at his position.